Hey guys, Allie here. Welcome to episode 25 of Controller Nation Weekly for the week of January 15th. Let's get to the news. Scared cat walk. So let's start things off with some awards news. And no, I'm not talking about the abortion that is the VGAs. I'm, of course, talking about the GDC Awards. You know, the ones given by game developers for game developers. Well, this year, industry rock star and all-around good guy Cliff Blazinski, Poland, is to host. We don't actually know Cliffy B, but he seems like a really nice guy. We have some demo news. A demo for Syndicate arrives on PSN and XBLA before the end of this month. The Darkness 2 demo has arrived for those with Xbox Live Gold. For non-gold members, PSN and Steam, it will arrive January 24th. Then there's a couple of demos around Mass Effect 3, which we'll be talking about in a little bit. Do you find too many games these days coddle the player, hold your hand as they walk you through the game, jiggle the balls? Well, Bioshock Infinite has a response to that, as it'll have a 1999 mode that's not only harder, but it'll also get you a game over if you lack the resources to respawn. Now on to some Mass Effect 3 news. For starters, if you plan to pick it up for PC, it will require the use of Origin, regardless of whether or not you grab a physical copy or download a digital copy and will not be available on Steam. Plus, the PC requirements have been released, which seem to be pretty reasonable. Minimum requirements are at least a 1.8 GHz dual-core processor, 2 gigs of RAM, and a video card with 250 megabytes of dedicated RAM. Continuing Mass Effect 3 news, if you play the demo for the Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning, you can unlock a couple pieces of armor usable in ME3, so why not give it a play? And while you're on a demo playing role, you'll be able to get a hands-on with the Mass Effect 3 demo coming February 14th. Or you can be celebrating Valentine's Day with your significant other. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding, we know you won't. You'll be playing the Mass Effect 3 demo. And now to cover a most unfortunate aspect of the gaming industry. Studio closures. This past week we saw the closure of Hudson Soft. The studio behind Bomberman and Ubisoft closed their Vancouver studio who created Motion Sports Adrenaline. So as always, Good luck to the employees on their future ventures. For those achievement hunters out there, if you find the need to get achievements in more than just playing games, like life, oh, just kidding, we know you don't do that either, then Microsoft has answered your pleas as you can now get achievements from coding games in Visual Studio. I'm sure there's an exhibit joke in there somewhere. Capcom has finally announced Resident Evil 6, which we knew they were working on for a while now. Their announcement has come with a lovely trailer having both Leon Kennedy, and Chris Redfield. Details of Mortal Kombat for the Vita have been released. For those looking forward to this title, prepare yourself for 60 frames per second, touch screen fatalities based on how you swipe the screen, and a second challenge tower that will utilize the Vita's touch screen, and accelerometer. That's it for this week. Be sure to like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash controller nation, all one word, and follow us on Twitter at controller n. We will see you next week for another installment of Controller Nation Weekly.